What's up, y'all? Logan Parker, Heirloom Builders. Welcome back to the Wedding Barn. It's Monday, and it's not your typical Monday because we're going to crush it today. We just got out of the shop, and um, we're staged up and ready to go for receiving some siding. So we might have to break out of here midday to go receive all that siding when it comes in on a flatbed trailer. Um, Blot is back there getting set up to drill and epoxy all five of these knife plates that are gonna anchor our post into the concrete slab, um, which is what we've done for each one of these other, what is it, 25 posts now? Um, so these are the last five that we gotta do. So we're really excited to be done with this, with this aspect of the project. The other thing we're going to be working on today is rolling the rest of these floor joists for the loft floor that we've got to um, frame up in order to finish framing the window wall here to receive our trusses like you saw in the last video. Um, one thing they had to work out earlier today in the office while we were setting up the shop was figuring out where on this beam right here we need to stop the the floor joist because we haven't finished designing the stairs there's still some details to work out and um, we just basically figured that we want to err on the side of a wider stair instead of a, a four foot stair or a three foot eight wide stair we're gonna err on the side of a four foot six wide stair since there's probably gonna be a lot of people going up and down the stairs we want ample room for everybody to be able to move past each other going up and down the stairs. Uh, so we figure out we're gonna run two, um, two joists past this post right here, end up with a six by 10, which we have to resaw on our sawmill um, out of a scrap 10 by 10. Uh, one of our strategies here on this project was to order a few extra key pieces of heavy timbers that we could Resaw into a lot of other different stuff. Uh, for instance, we would always order an extra member that was like a longer piece so that we could use it for a shorter piece if it was twisted. Uh, and we're going to be able to use a lot of these 10 by 10s and put them, uh, mill them on the sawmill into 6 by 10s and, and other material um, that we need for our siding backing. So nothing goes to waste here on our job. We're really conscious of making sure we have minimal scrap minimal waste and um and we're gonna see what we can get done today so um here we go So real quick, what we're doing here is we're, we're taking two 10 by 10 scraps and cutting them down to six by 10s for our stair header in the loft floor framing. Um, these were center cut 10 by 10s. In fact, the tree was probably only 16 inches around and they were center cut. So instead of just taking four inches off of a 10 by 10 and getting a six by 10, we have to, we have to cut two inches off of each face so that it dries evenly and doesn't warp or twist as it continues to dry. Um, so right now we're gonna roll these things over, take two inches off the other side, and we'll have two six by tens to keep on rolling.
That's all it takes to get two 10 by 10s to a six by 10. We're gonna take these over to the wall floor and keep on rolling. Tell me a little bit about this bracket. Designed and made a custom um, joist hanger. Work on uh, this rough cut lumber, which is should be four by ten, and obviously this one's a little heavy, so That's why I need to uh, grind out not in a little bit. Joist down and grind it off. Yep. Or make me a little, maybe maybe we can do make me a little mark right here to. Know how far I need to go back. You want to do an eighth on both sides Probably. or what? Yeah, I think as that is. More and a quarter. Oh, I, not as, I must have clipped it. It's only eighth or a sixteenth of an inch. You get it? Yeah. Oh yeah, sightings here at the shop. Uh, time to go get it. Here we go. Blana took off a little bit earlier than Mike and I to head back to the shop to meet the driver and unload all of the packs of Cypress that we're gonna use for the vertical shiplap wood siding on this wedding barn. He's gotta unload it off of the flatbed trailer and get that driver on his way. We usually have about an hour of unload time before they start to get upset. Uh, so we rent a forklift, a lot is unloading right now just into the parking lot at the shop um, so that we can kind of strategically stage these individual packs of lumber because they're different lengths and we're gonna need the 10 footers and some 12 footers first off of the shaper so that we can clad the bathroom and get the meter main panel installed and get power trenched to that meter panel so that we can expedite this project and keep moving forward. Um, so as he unloads, Mike and I kind of finished up what we could do rolled up all the tools, got everything picked up, and we're headed back to the shop right now to meet him and stage everything inside. Uh, with any luck, we'll have enough room to stage everything and still have some space to move around and um, have a pretty efficient milling process. Um, turning these rough sawn four quarter by 10 inch wide Cypress boards into a shiplap wood siding. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm really excited about all this, and uh, it's really cool to see it all come together. Today's a big day. Um, we're a little distracted here because we had to break off the job and go receive this side and get staged in the shop, but now we're pretty much set up for a rain day, um, which is really important um, because until we get a roof on this structure, every day that it rains is a lost day. All we can do is plan and coordinate um, there's very little that we can do other than planning on a rain day. Um. Is that enough siding you think, Mike? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> I don't want to have another uh, shipping charge. That worked out really well.
This is all rough sawn four quarter boards. They're different lengths. We're gonna mill them into shiplap siding. We're gonna keep it rough sawn because it's just that nice old rustic barn look we're gonna try to keep. We're loading it into the shop right now and that's about the end of the day. So we got a little bit more catching up to do tomorrow, framing up this loft floor so we can frame our windows, get our bearing beam walls set up and be ready for trusses on Wednesday. Um, I think we're going to be all set and ready to go. So anyway, if you like watching this video, smash that like button. Make sure to subscribe to our channel because we got a whole lot more coming and we'd love to see you. Thanks for hanging out. See you on the next one. Peace.